yeah, this is what's been going on the past couple weeks. Dear God, please hear me out. I know it's been a couple. Okay, so it has been almost two months since filming the Eric video and about another three weeks since that video actually came out. And so much has been going on the past few weeks. So I just wanted to get on here and share a little bit about what's, what's been going on. Yeah, I guess before the video came out, I was super excited just to see how they edited it, see what the reaction would be. Because honestly, I had so much fun getting to be a part of it. Um, I met some great people, both on Eric's team and then also just the guys that were there. And I really feel like I walked out of there with some new friends, um, which was awesome. But once the video came out, I kind of realized that there is a negative side of YouTube. Um, the comments were kind of brutal, so I had to stop looking. So if you had something nice to say, I'm sorry, I probably didn't see it. Yeah, I just had to stop because it was not, not helping. But I know that everyone has been reaching out, asking questions about what is going on with me and Megan. And I've been recording some videos over the past few weeks that I wasn't really sure if I was ever gonna share. Just because I'm not used to looking at a camera and talking about how I'm feeling, um, that's pretty new to me. But I feel like it's just the most authentic version of myself and that is who I wanna be on here, so. Yeah, this is what's been going on the past couple weeks. And this is a video that I did not want to have to record, but here we are. So, yesterday I was hanging out with Megan, just talking, and after a little while, she let me know that she did not want things to continue for us anymore. And that she just wants to be friends. And that honestly sucked to hear. Because, man, like this was not, it wasn't a YouTube video for me. And I know like, it's hard to tell when you're on like the other side watching, but for me, this was all very real, and I really do hope that, that we do get to be friends. Um, I don't know what's next for me in terms of doing videos and content. Yeah, I guess we're gonna take it one day at a time from here. So the past couple weeks have been kind of tough, and honestly, I haven't really felt like myself. I haven't felt like doing much of anything. But sitting around doing nothing is not helping, so I think it's time to get back up off the couch, get back to doing the things that I enjoy and the things that make me a better version of myself. I think it's easy to sit around wishing things had gone different, um, but when we actually decide to get up and make things different, that's when everything starts to change. So yeah, I guess that's what today is about. And I always feel better after a workout, so that is where I'm headed today, and hopefully it helps. Give you it's true Hanging by a thread side I don't know So for the first time since high school I ran a sub six minute mile So it's gonna be a pretty good day. I don't know. Feeling feeling good so far. Yeah, sometimes when things don't go the way we planned, it becomes pretty easy to forget everything that we do have to be thankful for. And there are so many things that I have to be thankful for right now. Just a few years ago, I visited LA for the first time, and I wanted so badly to move out here. And now that dream is my reality. So, I'm not going to take it for granted. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I heard this quote, when you can't change the wind, adjust the sails. I don't know, I guess it's kind of just stuck with me for the past few years, and I feel like right now I'm living in a adjust the sails moment. 
feel like I've been worrying about so many things that are out of my control recently and I don't know, it's time to start focusing on the things that I can actually change. One of the things that has always brought me peace in times like this has been just opening up my Bible and spending time with Jesus. I'm not sure if that's something that you do, but if you don't, I definitely recommend it because it'll change your life. And yeah, I guess the cool thing is that while I can't change the wind, I know somebody who can. Okay, so it's 60 degrees right now, 8 o'clock, the sun's setting, but I think I'm about to do something crazy. Don't know what my future is, but I can't keep on living in. Okay, so I am absolutely freezing right now, and yeah, I'm gonna go take a hot shower, but thanks for watching, and I'm gonna have some more videos coming soon.